Welcome back to 2008 Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational. Next week, the action shifts from eight people to nearly 800 when the Aussie Millions main event takes center stage. A record field of 780 take dead aim on the $1.65 million first prize. The Aussie Millions is one of the biggest poker tournaments in the world. If they have a really good structure, the blinds and annies go up reasonably slow. There's a lot of really good players that fly into town. It's awesome because it's a little different. We get down to eight-handed right away, then six-handed. It's just fast action. Gathers all the Australians, a lot of pros from all over the world, so pretty clear that's that's why it's become, uh, become so big. It's on a world-class level. If we had majors in poker, the Aussie Millions would have to be one of them. See if Gus Hansen could beat the odds and repeat. Or if one of the other 779 will hoist the crystal and claim the life-changing riches. The Aussie Millions main event kicks off next week. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. Once again, that's next week. But there's some business to be done this week. Alexander straddling, so action going to begin with Gus Hansen. Well, he's got two jacks, a big hand. We'd expect him to open for a raise here. And he is counting one out. 4,800 is the raise, and Adams will fold. Wow. Elezra is going to call. Antonius folded. Oh, pretty weak call there. King-9 offsuit. Dwan with ace-jack on the button. Looks like he's going to call as well. Yeah, he calls. And Tran going to throw away that ace-7. Now over to Tony G with an 8-5. They are suited, and he will call. Wow. wow. Robert Alexander picks up a huge hand, two queens. He just so happens to have Gus Hansen notched, which is exactly what you want. I raise. And hold him. He raises. Raise. Yep. Well, let's see how much he is going to raise. All in. Oh, it goes all in here. Almost $70,000. Yeah, $67,900 to be exact. Can't see how Gus can get away from this hand. Boy, this is an unlucky hand-over-hand -hand situation. Yeah, he's going to move in himself. Action on Alezra. <laughs> <laughs> Gus was going to get sick if I limp it. Then. And Alezra does fold. And I don't see how Dwan can call either. I wouldn't mind a triple up, though. I'd like one, too. Oh, I like that. Meanwhile, Dwan takes a long, hard look. Well, I fold. he's not really looking. He's going to fold. Tony G has to fold. This is just going to be a big heads-up race. Queens against Jacks. A pass. Pass. But Tony G does give it up. And Alexander shows his queens and the predictable reaction from okay. Gus Hansen. He falls, yeah. Gus is just disgusted. This was an unavoidable situation. Like the same. Playing a hundred and fifty thousand like dollar pot. Same every time. And here is the flop. Nine tray deuce, no help. Hansen's going to need a jack, uh, and a jack only. Uh, Down to 5%. A jack's already been folded. There's only one left in the deck. The turn is a deuce. Don't give him uh, one. Gus down to one card and one out. The river is another deuce. Well, Gus, obviously very upset, but I don't see how that was an avoidable situation. Nothing he could do. I'm sorry, Gus. Uh, I don't see how I can fold. I don't see how I can fold. 